What's up, y'all? This is how to take your bed truck off using a tree. Hillbilly style. One of the things you're going to need, some heavy-duty rope. I got 278 pounds, 25 feet of it. You're also going to need these spring snap links to hook on the little eye rings inside of your bed. And the last thing you're going to need is a two-ton heavy lifting jack. A lot of people call it come along. That's the stuff we're going to need. Oh yeah, for almost forgot. We're going to need a tree with a chain. Mine's decorated with some Christmas lights. You necessarily don't have to have those on your tree. You just got to have a tree that works. And this tree works. So let's get it. Take your snap ring. Put it on the eye hook like that. In each corner. Then we're going to take our rope and crisscross it. We're going to take our rope we're going to tie one end. It's a bowling. You want to see how to tie a bowling? Look in the description link below. And I'll show you how to tie it one on one. We're gonna go crisscross. Here to here to here. Here. Then what we do when we get to the middle, we're gonna sort of bunch it all up so that we can get a little like a, a hook if you say, like this here. That seems about right. Just go ahead and wrap this around Looks like a safety sort of. And when you're lifting it and you see this coming apart, make sure you run.
right. Last thing we're gonna do, take our last eye hook here. Get this one on here. Now, we got to connect our come along to our chain. There goes our chain and is in line as you can see with the center hook. So what we're gonna do we're gonna loosen this up. I put the hook through both of these holes so that it won't slip and slide. Take this, attach it here. Now we're ready to go up. Now it might be not a whole lot of slack left on here. So this is not enough. You need to tighten this up or get up higher on this. I'm gonna get up higher on this. Now what we got here, we got ourselves a 2005 Chevy Colorado. I'm going to tell you where the bolts are on this bed here. So you got one right here. If you go up underneath there, you'll see it underneath there. It's up there. There's nothing right there, so don't think there's something right there. And then there's two in the back here. One about right here, one about right here. And this is what they look like. It's a three quarter inch driver. And I got a long extension on there. And I got me a little cheater bar right here. And that cheater bar, that cheater bar help you out, not bust your back. So let's go do the other side, let me show you. All right, we up underneath here. You can see that one's all the way up there. So here's the tire. It's right up there. So you gotta get an extension up in there and take that thing out. So I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Thank you. This one right here is right by the tailpipe. I don't know if I'm getting it on camera or not because I can't see a damn thing. Yeah, there it go right there. Okay. There goes the tailpipe. There goes the nut. And the other one. Well, the other one right there. There's a the tire. So let's take those two out right now. Next thing you're going to do is get yourself a ladder. And then you're going to go ahead and put it on the side of the truck and jack that some bit up. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, now, folks, I am not responsible for any injuries anything that happens to you while trying to perform this event so please take that as a disclaimer hillbilly style
Actually, all right. But I think we found a little wire here. Looked like a ground cable right there in the chassis. So I'm gonna take that there out. Now I got access to my gas pump, which is giving us some trouble. Let's keep jacking this baby up. Take out that wire. We got about, I'd say, 10 more inches to go and then I'll go ahead and drive that baby away to get her out from underneath the frame is that how you say it let's do some more jacking jacky 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 Right. This point, I have enough access to go ahead and get my gas valve out. As you say, the float, which is right up in there, so I don't have to take apart the whole gas system. Let's go ahead, take off, take that off now. Get into it. All right, now we're gonna pull this thing forward. Look at that, I got a dump truck. Let me back it up. Let me back it up like a dump truck. Now I disconnected the lights, so we're gonna drive forward now. There we go. There you have it. You got yourself a Christmas decoration for all the neighbors to see. Beautiful thing. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Chevy Colorado truck bed dismount. Let's go and get the part we need. Hillbilly. Stand up. All right, folks. You got this problem on your Chevy Colorado. Well, you got problems. See that there? Wait for it. Wait for it. Close the door. Close the door. Low fuel. I got fuel on this baby. Problem is was our bed hanging on the right, so can't really see it down in there but um I'll give you a little description I had to replace all these wires here two harnesses the one you see that's color coded has the black the purple the gray and the black with the orange and the one that's not color coded are the small wires the black, the gray, the green, and the other black. Uh, if you need any help putting those wires on, you can go ahead and you can uh, to find out which one goes to which. Um, the smaller wires are for the three prong connector, again, which is the, uh, the gray, the green, and the black. The green goes in the middle of the three prong connector, the black on the left side, in the gray on the right side and on the big connector you have black on the outside left purple on the inside left gray and then black 
So if you need any help, uh, shoot me an email on the uh, uh, or on, post a, a little message on the uh, YouTube video below, and we'll get you squared away. I also put in the links below the uh, the two harnesses you need for the fuel pump, uh, so you can order them yourself off Amazon or AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts, wherever you want to go and get it. And that'll be that. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. See you later. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the dump truck here. Yeet. You ready, Billy Bob? Hell yes, brother. All right. truck off. Let's start lowering down a little coming along here. Here we go. Now we're ready to drop the bed down. Grab yourself a box cutter, shears, an axe, hacksaw, maybe even a sawzall. We're going to cut this down and let it drop down there, right there, buddy. You ready for this? <laughs> Yeet! Get it! Hey, buddy! Y'all see that right there? That don't know that bed right there don't fell right on that truck frame. Well, I couldn't do that again if I tried. What? 